Hello and welcome to the next video in the INA 5 on the Flying Wing series. Today let's cover the black box topics. Black box locks are very important because the black box locks are the only way to know what's going on when something is not working like expected. This is why it's very important to have to set it up and record it whenever you can. Or at least record it when it makes sense. Something wrong? Record a lock, open it in the black box explorer and analyze what's really going on. Step one is to go into the black box tab and ensure that the black box flight data recorder is enabled. INAV supports three ways of recording the black box locks. Two of the most popular are the internal SD card if your flight controller has the SD card slot, the internal flash memory if your flight controller has the internal flash designed to store the black box locks, or in case of the flight controller without the SD card or the built-in flash, the external black box recorder, which are usually the open lock devices. We will not cover the open lock devices setup today, but this is very simple. You only have to connect the open lock to one of the serial ports and then in the port tab assign it a black box function. Bear in mind the external black box recorders are relatively slow, so that means you will have to lock with the lower frequency and most probably with not all the fields. Fortunately, this is not really the case for the internal SD card or the built-in flash memory. By the way, hit the like button and drop a comment to what you think about this video and to what you think about this video series. Thanks a lot. Now, depending on the flight controller you have, you either have to select the serial port if you are using the serial port or the onboard SD card in case of the flight controllers with the built-in SD card or the internal flash for the flight controllers that have internal flash. Luckily, you will only see the options that you can actually use. You also have to decide on the logging rate. Usually 1 to 1, 1 to 2 and 1 to 4 are more than enough to lock enough of the data for the tuning purposes. INAV will not let you record with the frequency higher than 1 kHz. This depends on your loop time, cycle time reported here in the configurator and the portion of the flight lock iterations to lock. If for any reason it's too high, it will switch to the closest one of the 1 kHz frequency. It takes a lot of data to lock that often, but at the same time you have a lot of data to work with. When your craft is already tuned and working just fine and you only want to lock your longer flight, the 1 to 32 or 1 to 16 is really enough. If on the other hand you want to lock the black box lock for the gyro flow, then 1 to 1 and 1 to 2 are most probably the best cases. Because I want to begin with the tuning session, I want to have the relatively high low logging grade 1 to 2 and that should be enough for the tuning. And finally you have to decide on which black box field should be locked. Some of the fields are locked always but some of the fields are optional and you can decide if you want to have them or not. For the tuning and the first flights I suggest to leave them all enabled because you never know, but when you are logging the longer flights, you can try to disable some of them, but first check if the data you are disabling is not required in your case. And finally, you have to decide when INAV will record the black box lock. By default, if you do not do anything else besides enabling the black box feature, INAV will start recording as soon as you arm. Sometimes it's desired, sometimes it's not. Luckily, you have the option to enable the black box lock only if one of the switches is flipped. To do it, go to the mode tab and at the bottom of the page find the black box option. And now, assign this flight mode 
only to the channel that is assigned to the switch you want to use to enable the black box lock. From now on, the iNav will record the black box lock only if the switch is in the correct position. A pretty nice way to conserve usually limited internal flash and sometimes even the SD card. In the next video in this series, we will talk about the final steps you have to take to ensure that your first flights are really successful ones. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!